And even though I didn't know the way, I still gave that man directions. Because that's the kind of guy I am. Hi. Yes, my hair is beautiful. You're right to be jealous. I know I am. I'd like to tell you a story if I could. If I would. You know I would. It's about a man. A common man. Working hard with his hands. That's right. A common man. Working hard for the man. His name was Mosley, and he was a short-order cook, and he was a damn good short-order cook, as were his short-order co-workers. The problem was that Mosley and his short-order cook friends worked for a douche tard, and one day, after one too many hours of unpaid overtime, Mosley walked into the office and he said, Douche tard, let my people go! Douchetard looked at Mosley and said, What in the blue hell does that even mean? Stop drinking the bong water. And Mosley says, No, no! You can take this job and you can restaff it! No more! And he gathers the short order cooks and they leave. A couple weeks later, they're all sitting on the beach and one of them walks up to Mosley and he says, Hey, say there, Mosley. Uh, yeah, th th thanks for costing us all our jobs and, and and all of that, but fellow, we got bills to pay. What are we gonna do? Mosley looks out at the ocean, and he says, "What we will do?" And then he points at the mountain behind him, and he says, "We are going to climb that mountain. We are going to build a pirate ship, and we are going to be pirates, yar!" One of the short order cooks looks at him and goes, uh, say there, Mosley. Didn't they make more sense to build a pirate boat in the ocean? And Mosley says, shut up, that's why I start climbing. Mosley gets to the top and he's all by himself because all the other short order cooks decided, hey, yeah, well, Mosley's wasting time. We're going to build a pirate ship. So they're already sitting in the water on the dock waiting for him to climb back down and clue in. And Mosley gets to the top of the mountain and he looks around and he says, where the hell is the pirate ship? And suddenly, he hears this voice from above, and it calls to him, and it says, Someone fat, get under me! Mosley, not being a fat man, goes, Huh, that's not a divine message for me, and he steps out of the way. Giant pile of pasta crashes into the mountain, and Mosley says, Great googly moogly! It's the flying spaghetti monster, and the flying spaghetti monster looks at him and says, You can't prove that I want a lawyer. That stripper was dead when I got there. I need a drink. Then he looks over at Mosley, and he says, Hey there, my man. How you doing? You got a drink? Mosley says, uh, yeah, hey there, flying spaghetti monster. Uh, what's going on? And the flying spaghetti monster says, Mosley, you have an intelligence rivaled only by garden tools. What in the blue hell are you doing on top of a mountain? Mosley says, I, uh, I wanted to be a pirate. Oh, well, maybe there'd be a pirate ship on top of this mountain. Noah was on a mountain. I thought maybe I'd find his boat. I could just convert it. And the flying spaghetti monster looks at Mosley and he says, Mosley, I feel bad for you. Partly because you're absolutely hopeless and partly because I'm the reason you're absolutely hopeless. Never, never create on a bender, Mosley. That's what I'm saying. And I'm also going to say this. I'm going to give you some divine wisdom to aid you on your quest. Get a pen! And Mosley says, I don't have a pet in the flying spaghetti monster. Says, sweet Jesus in a birch bark canoe, Mosley, work with me. And he hands Mosley a pen and he hands Mosley a sheet of paper. And he says, Mosley, write this down. And Mosley says, all right, flying spaghetti monster, what divine noodly wisdom do you have for me? And the flying spaghetti monster says, Mosley, if a stripper tells you she's 18, don't believe her. If a stripper tells you she's really into you, don't believe her. 
If a stripper tells you she's only doing this to pay her way through college, then you tip her mostly. And you tip her well. Cause I'll know. I'll know. Now I'm off to find a drink. I suggest you climb your sorry trunk back down the mountain. Your friends are waiting with a boat. As true today as it was when it was written. I am interesting.